Hey guys and welcome to an episode of BitGlen and today I'm just going to be talking about the price of Bitcoin. Um, I've just been watching the Bloomberg channel and keeping an eye online of the news and uh, they're saying that it's going to hit a record high of $8,000. Um, so you can see here in British pounds it's getting very close to being worth over 6000 a coin. So yeah, it's... Um, it's, I suppose a good time to buy Bitcoin. It's going up. Um, they were saying about what? Why do you think it's going up? Because if there was, um, if you were looking at a currency like say the pound versus a dollar, you could say, oh, the UK are having an election, um, so their money's gone down, so it's worth more uh, than the, you know, the dollar. And there's reasons why things happen. But they were saying today, this has just come out of the blue. So just randomly loads of people investing today so it's going up towards seven eight thousand mark eight thousand dollars so um yeah I, and i've checked my account obviously my very small amount that i had uh let's have a little look where's my bitcoin account i did have 29 pound now i've got 31 pound <laughs> so i've made two pound today um and that's gone litecoin's gone back up to 50 pound is that right Bitcoin send and receive are temporarily up disabled to ensure your funds remain safe. We have disabled send till shortly after the BTC B2X fork. Read more. Oh, when's that happening then? Learn stuff as I uh, talk about it with you guys on the video. So, remember the big Bitcoin segue two times fork is expected to occur in the next hour. We have temporarily disabled buy and sell in addition to send and receive. So Bitcoin are actually stopping me from being able to send and receive money, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing because obviously they're controlling what I can and can't do with the money. Um, but then if they're looking out for my best interest, then happy days. Um, in the next six hours. So Segwit two times fork. So... Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just staring at the computer now. This is what I t seem to be doing, and my partner's having a go at me now. If you're getting, if you're going to get involved in Bitcoin, there's so much clickbait news, fake news, um, videos that you can watch and read about. <clears throat> my partner's just moaning. When I get into Sank, I really like get into it and um, all I'm doing is reading and researching and looking up stuff all the time. It, even when I go taller, I'm on my phone and I'm like looking up anything to do with Bitcoin or uh, currency. So yeah, um, if you've got some Bitcoin or you've got some other um, coins, I'd suggest, well, no, I'll suggest do what you want with them, but um, I'm probably going to put my Litecoin and Ethereum into Exodus and then transfer transfer it into Bitcoin because I believe over the next well over the weekend it's gonna go up to past the eight thousand mark. Um and I was reading some articles today about um they reckon there was a I can't remember what website it was, but some articles come out about um, when would investors look to just get rid of or sell off their Bitcoin, uh, you know, currency? And they were saying when it's worth two hundred thousand pounds a coin. So at the minute we're talking about it being worth. I assume that's in dollars. So let's say it's eight thousand dollars now. They're talking in another hundred and hundred and <laughs> ninety one hundred thousand. Then they'll sell it off. So. Um, yeah, it's going to be, if that happens, anyone who's got some, they're laughing. And this is why I wanted to get into it now rather than later. I'd hate to be sitting there in three or four years' time saying, oh, I remember when they were worth five grand um, and now they're worth 150000 or whatever. So um, hence why I want to try and accumulate as many Bitcoins as I can. I'm not looking at doing, you know, too much sort of trading and get rich quick schemes I just I want to get Bitcoin hold on to it until either they're worth nothing or it, until 
they're um, one of the most expensive currencies in the world. <laughs> so just thought I'd let her talk about that today because that's what's going on. And uh, you can see here it's already gone up 4.5% on this chart. Um, so yeah, now's a good time, I think, to get some more Bitcoin. So I'm going to transfer all my funds into Bitcoin and see what happens over the weekend. So um, I'll see you guys later. Uh, this uh, actual website, sorry, this is new. So obviously I'm learning as I go along. Today, no, yesterday, I started looking at this website, coinmarketcap.com, because I noticed a few other people using it. And uh, it is really good, actually. It lists in order what all the currencies are worth. So if if you go to like Coinbase, they only show you the Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. If you go to Exodus, they only show you sort of, um, I don't know, eight or ten of them. But this shows you, I think, all of them that are out. So you can see here there's the top hundred coins, currencies that are available. Uh, a lot of these, obviously, I've never heard of, and I don't know what they are. But then they're only worth... You know, that one's worth thirty dollars, so you can buy quite a lot of that. Neo, um, twelve dollars, one dollar, one dollar there. You know, so very, very cheap currencies. Obviously, if you bought some of them, say ten pounds worth, and they became worth six grand overnight, then you'd be absolutely laughing. But it's whether to sort of, I suppose, your spread betting. Then, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I used to gamble, so um, I, I'd call it. If you was looking at a roulette table and there's thirty six numbers, if you you would just averagely put a pound on each number or most of them and hope that your one come in. Um, you got a very high chance, but then you wouldn't gain much. But obviously, you never know. The only ones that I've sort of heard good things about really are Bitcoin, Ethereum. They're saying Bitcoin Cash sort of went up quite a lot because Bitcoin went down 30% last week. So everyone invested their money into Bitcoin Cash, thinking that would be the next up and coming thing. But then a lot of people are taking their money out of that now and put it back into Bitcoin. So it's a juggling act between these two. Um, and a lot of the others, you know, I don't really hear anything about these ones. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. But um, I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a good weekend, whatever it is you get up to. I might do a video over the weekend uh, if obviously the Bitcoin does shoot up quite a bit. Um, but if not, I'll do another video for Monday and I'll see you soon. See you later.